Hello everyone, I am Sujoy and this is my another exciting numerical method video for you. So in my previous video, I told you how to find out the orthogonal diagonalization of a matrix very easily. And in the process, I introduced you three formulas in the previous video for finding the orthogonal diagonalization. So now in this video, I will show you the proofs for these three formulas on the Casio FX and on ES scientific calculator. So let's start the video. First, I will prove the formula number 3 which is A equals to P into D into P inverse where P is the diagonalized matrix, D is the eigenvalue matrix and again P is the diagonalized matrix. So at the end of the previous video, we got three matrices where this matrix P is the diagonalized matrix and this matrix D is the eigenvalue matrix and this is our original A matrix. Now I have already entered these three matrices on this calculator. Let me show you them one by one. So matrix A is this matrix. Let us verify 4 minus 8 0 minus 8 0 8 and 0 8 minus 4. Next this matrix D is stored at matrix B. So that is 0 0 0 0 12 0 and 0 0 minus 12. That is our eigenvalue matrix. And finally this matrix P is stored at matrix C which is 2 by 3, 1 by 3, 2 by 3. Minus 2 by 9, minus 4 by 9 and 4 by 9. Minus 2 by 9, minus 4 by 9 and 4 by 9. And the median column they are minus 2, 2 and 1. So now we will do multiply this matrix P into this matrix D into inverse of this matrix P directly on this calculator. In other words we will do matrix C into matrix B into inverse of matrix C. Let's do it. So that is it. Matrix C into matrix B into inverse of matrix C. In other words, P into D into inverse of P. Let's do it. That is equal to our original matrix A. 4 minus 8 0, minus 8 0 8 and 0 8 minus 4. So our third formula was A equals to P into D into P inverse. So this is proved. And now I will show you the proof for this second formula. Which is A into the eigenvector equals to the corresponding eigenvalue and its eigenvector where the vi and vi both are same. So let's check it. So our second eigenvalue was 12 and the corresponding eigenvector was minus 2, 2 and 1. So I have stored them in the calculator. The eigenvector minus 2, 2 and 1 is stored as matrix B and matrix A is stored as matrix A on this calculator. So now if we multiply matrix A into the eigenvector which is the matrix B we should be equal to the eigenvalue 12 into the eigenvector or matrix B. So let's do it A into matrix B or A into the eigenvector matrix. So A into matrix B is equal to minus 24, 24 and 12. That should be equal to the 
eigen vector matrix or matrix B into the eigen value 12. Yes, that is equals to minus 24, 24 and 12. So, the formula number 2 is also proved and this will be true for all the eigen values 0, 12 and minus 12 and their corresponding eigen vectors. Now we will prove the formula number 1 which says the determinant of a minus lambda i should be equal to 0. So this is the a minus lambda i. Now if we put the lambda equals to 12 we should get this matrix which is minus 8 minus 8 0 minus 8 minus 12 0 and 0 8 minus 16 which is our matrix C. Now determinant of matrix C should be equal to 0. Let's do it. determinant of matrix C is equal to 0. So this is true and this will be true for all the eigenvalues. So that's it for now. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, please like, share and comment on the video. Your positive like, share and comment really encourage me to make more quality videos. And I have already uploaded more than 55 videos on scientific calculators, how to use them for doing maths easily. So the videos include Casio FX 901 ES, FX 9860Z2, FX 822MS and one simple 8 digit chip calculator. So if you want to watch any of my previous calculator videos, link to all of them is given in the video description below. So check them out. So I am signing out. Thanks for watching.